fire. Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Well, you know, LeBron James has found a way to keep himself in the news throughout the 2024-25 season, even though the Lakers are not going to be contending for a championship in all likelihood. But, you know, due to the fact that LeBron James found a way to finesse the Lakers, bully them, harass them into drafting his son, well, that's going to be one of the main focuses going into this season instead of talking about the actual stars in the league themselves and talking about who's going to be there when it's all said and done in the NBA Finals and will the Boston Celtics repeat as NBA championships. But no, we have to talk about LeBron James and his son, who apparently is clearly not NBA ready. The report said he wasn't NBA ready, and it looks like he's not NBA ready. But LeBron James, due to the fact that he's a narcissist, and he's selfish, who makes everything about himself. This is what we're going to be talking about. LeBron James could have retired last year. LeBron James has the scoring record, which I think nobody in all likelihood is going to reach, at least not for years to come. I think that record is least safe for the next 30 plus years, unless Kevin Durant continues to play, which I don't think Kevin Durant is going to play that much longer. I think Kevin Durant maybe at best has two or three more years left. Best case scenario, four. But due to the fact that LeBron James stayed around just so he could play alongside his son and basically take up a roster spot for somebody that can actually contribute to the team and help them win games, it's about LeBron James being on the court and playing alongside his son. And if you question it, then LeBron James secretly comes after you behind the scenes. But LeBron James need to be worrying about what could possibly be coming his way outside of the NBA basketball court due to his affiliation with Sean Diddy Combs or whatever he's calling himself these days. I think it's a shame that we can't have a conversation about the league itself. And this is the problem. LeBron makes it about LeBron and his minions make it about him. And if anybody challenges LeBron James or says something about LeBron James, then people, you know, come after people that criticize LeBron James. So me, myself, I want to focus on the NBA itself and not LeBron and his son. But, you know, throughout the season and, of course, throughout lamestream, mainstream sports media, in particular ESPN, every time LeBron's son does something good or bad, it's going to be a long thought out segment. At the end of the day, Bronny James, he just can't play. I think the best thing for him to do was to stay in college and, you know, develop his game a little bit more or possibly go overseas. But no, once again, LeBron wanted to make it about him. Oh, I, my dream is to play alongside his son. But nevertheless, not help the Lakers win games. So this is what we're going to have to bear with all season long. You know, LeBron and Bronny James. So that's my take on the situation. I'm got, not going to spend, you know, basically the whole NBA season talking about LeBron James and his son. Every time something good happens or if he hits... Or if he scores nine points, he hits uh, three three-pointers in a the game, then all of a sudden it's newsworthy because that's what LeBron wants because LeBron just wants you to steadily talk about him. So there you have it. This is your boy Town. I'm out.